Today I'm going to solve a diabolical puzzle. This is puzzle number 88 um, by, and from Sudoku to Go, volume 109 by Soap Opera Digest. You notice I've filled in quite a few number all, numbers already. I uh, did filled in all the easy ones and then and at this point we kind of get stuck we are at a point where we can't find any more numbers very easily uh, let's see what we've got here we've got two six twins here we've got four five twins here we've got a, a two six nine triplets here we've got a two here a six here and a nine here so that's a 2 or a 6, that's a 6 or a 9, that's a 2 or a 9. Now when you have that situation, as soon as you find one of these three numbers, you'll be able to fill, the, fill in the rest of them. Uh, we've also got, uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Those are pretty much all the twins and triplets that we have. We do have triplets here. Um, and, tri and triplets here. We're missing five numbers here, but we know these are two six twins, so we really have triplets here too. Right. Um, so just uh, let me give you one, one one example on one of these rows here. I'll go to this row right here. We've got a two and a six here, even though we can't solve them. So we're missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, four, and five. There's a 4 here, so that's a 3 or a 5. There's a 5 here, so that's a 3 or a 4. And that's a 4 or a 5 from these 4 or 5 twins. Okay, so at this point we can't really find anything that's real obvious. Uh, we need a breakthrough. We need something that will get us past this point. And I have something here where we can use some twins. Uh, that we can't solve, by the way, uh, to to move us ahead and uh, find a number that will help us break through this puzzle and be able to finish it. Now, if you'd like to pause the video right here before I um, show you, then go ahead and stop it right now. I'll give you one hint. So, if you don't want to hear the hint, pause it before. Uh, pause it now. Otherwise, I'll give you a hint and then I'm going to. Um, move ahead and show you what I found. All right, um, the hint is if you look at this column carefully that will give you some information that will help you break through. It will not be a breakthrough by by itself but it will give you some information that you can use in combination with that to break through. Okay, so that's the hint. If you want to pause the video now, go ahead. Um, so if you remember we have two six twins here what are we missing in this column one two three four five six seven two four six and seven are missing there's two six here there's a four here so let's see that's a four six or a seven there's a four and seven here so that's a two or a six and there's nothing in this box or in this row that will help us here. So that's 2, 4, 6, or 7. Uh, but if you notice, we have a 2, 6 here. And with these 4, 7s here, we have also have a 2, 6 here. So we have 2, 6 twins. And therefore, we only have two numbers left, 4 and 7. So they, these are 4, 7 twins. Okay. Now we can't solve either of those sets of twins. The two sixes here we can't solve, and the four sevens we can't solve. But that is going to give us some information that will help us find another number that will cause us to be able to finish this puzzle. If you look over here, we've got a two here. So therefore, one of these is a two. We've got ghost twos here. So in this uh, this box here, we've got ghost twos, and we've got a two here, so one of these numbers has to be a two. Before we found those 
the sets two sets of twins here we knew that one of these had to be a two but we didn't know which one but since we know that these are four seven twins here we know that can't be a two so we use these twins that we can't solve to know, to find out or to find that we can't put a two there and therefore we can put a two here because that's the only other place where a two can go in that box so so we use twins and um, and that other piece of information to be able to put a two there okay now let's look and see we've got a six here we know that these are four seven four this box is either a four or a seven we got a six here so we know one of these is a six right we know this is um, there's a six here already so we know this has to be a six so because we filled in this two we now know that this is a six because before we put that two in a six could have been in either of these three boxes right here okay so that finds us a, that gives us a six here and as I said earlier uh, if we find any one of these three numbers we'll be able to solve the other two what's left is two and nine and there's a nine there so that's a two and that's a nine okay. now we had two six twins in this column here uh, I didn't mention those earlier uh, but we had only two numbers missing and they were two and six now that we have put the two here we know that's a six we could have also found that because we got a six here and six here so we knew that would be a six right there okay now let's look at this column right here we're missing one two three four five six seven eight nine two four and five we know these are four five twins here so we got two four five two four five but we got a two here so we know that's a four or a five so those are four five twins there so we know that's a two All right. now let's look at this column here let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine four five and nine let's see that's a four or a five and that's a four five or nine and that's a that's a five or a nine so yeah can't do we can't solve that one yet all right let's see what we got here we got a two here and a two or i'm sorry a two here and a two here so we know one of these is a two there's a two there already so we know one of these is a two and we got a six here and we got a six there already and so we know that has to be a six right okay so six six so one of these has to be a six all right so we've got a two here so one of these two is a two and one of these three is a six but if you remember we have a have two six twins here and because of the ambiguity rule or unique rectangles which a lot of people call them um, we know one of these has to be a two okay. so the other one cannot be a six we have two six twins here we cannot have two six twins here or this puzzle will be ambiguous which means it will have two solutions because you could put a two here and a six here and a six here and a two here or a six here and a two here and a two here and a six here both solutions would be correct so that is not possible so we know that since one of these is a two the other one can't be a six so we know that is a six right there and therefore if you remember that one of these is a six so we know that's a six right there okay and therefore we know that's a two because we got two six twins there so two six oops I said six and wrote a nine I'm sorry <laughs> okay that's a six <laughs> and so now we know this is a two here Alright, so uh, now let's look and see. Well, we, well, we have four and seven left there. We've got four sevens here, and there's a four. 
So we can put in that 7 there and a 4 there and that 7. Okay, and let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's see what's missing in this box. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 4, 5, and 9. There's a 5, so that's 4 and 9, and so the 5 goes there. We got a 4 there, so we know that's a 9, and that's a 4. All right. Let's see. Now we've only got one number here in this box that's outside of this row, so that's a loner cell. So let's see. We've got a 682 here. 682, they're already in there. And 415, 415, so that's a 5. Now, if you don't understand the ambiguity rule or loner cells, which I just mentioned, or some of these other things that I've talked about in this video and others, you can go to sudokuprimer.com, and I talk a lot about a lot of these techniques that I use to solve these puzzles, and those will help you um, understand these techniques a little better. Okay. Now, what are we missing here? We're missing... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four and nine. Okay, there's a nine there, so we know that's a four. Okay, now we got four five twins there, so that's a five, and that's a four. And the nine goes there. Only number missing in that row. Okay, now we've we're missing one number in this box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, five. Okay, let's look at this bottom row here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seven and nine are missing. There's a seven there. So that's a seven, that's a nine. Okay, let's see what's missing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So three and four are missing there. There's a four. So that's a three and that's a four. Okay. All right, now we just have two rows up here that we can probably solve, and then we've got this, these triplets here that we looked at earlier and we couldn't solve them. So let's look at these two rows here. What are we missing here? One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so three and five are missing. There's a three. So three and five. Okay, now what else are we missing in this box here? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four and nine. There's a four, so there's a four there, nine there. And now we just have this middle triplet right here. Three, seven, nine. Three, seven, and nine. There's a three, there's a seven, so that's a nine. So three and seven left. There's a three, so that's a seven. And three is the only number left. All right. So, just to uh, to recap here, remember we had um, quite a few numbers missing, and we found these two six twins here. Uh, I put a nine in here. I wasn't thinking. I said six and put a nine in. So we had two six twins there, four seven twins there. That helped us find that two. So we used those twins and the knowledge we got from those twins in order to put that two in, which made it so that we could pretty easily finish solving this puzzle. And then um, we talked about the ambiguity rule here on the two sixes here. And um, used a few other techniques to, to finish this puzzle. So... Again, if you want to learn a little bit more about those techniques I talked about, like the ambiguity rule, loner cells, twins, triplets, things like that, you can go to sudokuprimer.com um, and learn about those. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again on the next video.